Well, what they're doing, Alex, now this is what I got from directly from members of the FBI that are participating in the mutiny. There apparently is meetings, were meetings, still are, between the White House, do not know who at the White House, Greta Lynch directly, James Comey directly, and what they plan to do, oh, and Podesta and several others in the Clinton campaign. And what they plan to do was to identify, number one, the problems. Problem number one, emails. Problem number two, voter fraud. Thanks to you and others, Alex. Thanks to Donald Trump. Thanks to drugs. Thanks to everybody that just wants free you and open bet. elections. A every major state's reporting flipping to Hillary, dead people voting, illegals voting. You bet. So they're seeing those two major problems, and they're trying to figure a way to come up with it. I don't know who exactly came up with the plan. I don't have that. But what they've determined to do was to come up, get Comey to announce that there was another batch of emails, the ones that they supposedly found on What's Your Name's computer, and then use that to focus everybody's attention, to draw Trump and his people in, to draw all of us in. That's the big, that's the big magic bullet. Take so it's like Red Adair blowing up an oil well that's on fire with a bunch of dynamite. You think blowing <laughs> it up is the wrong thing. No, it's the perfect thing. Have a big explosion to divert everybody onto that and not all the true smoking guns that we have right in front of us. Absolutely. Now, they're trying to back us off of curtailing voter fraud or at least staying after it. They're trying to stop the media from – they're trying to give the media an excuse to stay away from WikiLeaks. Now, Comey was given an option, apparently – he, was, he had explained to him, and the reason I know I believe this is because I did it to people, Alex, when I was with them. Somebody went to him and said, you know, Jim, here's the deal, buddy. If Hillary loses, you're toast. Your name is toast. Your career is toast. You're done. And there's a good chance if an investigation ensues, you will be the one going to jail. Now, the best thing for you to do is to help us. He had no choice. So he participates in bringing out this this uh, this diversion these emails this diversion. No, 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 now, no. Let me stop you. Six months ago, when the, when the Loretta Lynch thing happened, you've been saying for a year there will be no indictment. There will be no indictment. <laughs> Bill Clinton gave her a letter, a list of FBI people and prosecutors they got dirt on, and boy, you were proven right. So, so yeah, you're saying again, <clears throat> you know what transpired? Yeah. Now, the plan is, and you'll notice that even. When they did this, the miraculous change took place. Number one, Mr. Good Guy, James Comey, who everybody says is Mr. Impeccable, the first thing he does is he breaks the 60-day rule. 60-day rule means back going back to Iran-Contra, you know, arms for hostages. After that election with Carter, the media and everybody in the Ethics Committee said, no longer can you bring something out 60 days before an election. And he also Maybe. leaked it. He didn't just tell Congress a week, <laughs> two weeks before. No, or, he, or he two got days. it out. <clears throat> so he breaks that rule. And then here comes Hillary saying, get it all out. Get it all out. Now, here's what they've got going for them. They've got the Republicans saying, get it all out. They've got Trump saying, get it all out. And, of course, you've got Hillary saying, get it all out, with the intended purpose being the emails that Comey is going to release. Those emails have already been purged, Alex, and there's nothing in it to incriminate Hillary or Obama. Meanwhile, no one looks at the new WikiLeaks coming out daily or the total coup de grace that came out last week with Obama and Hillary saying, we got to clean this up and cover it up. And the campaign already has the press releases ready to go. And as far as I so know, Rush some Limbaugh of the was mainstream right. Rush media Limbaugh. already have the papers already ready, the front pages ready to print, saying that Hillary was innocent all along. This whole email thing was a Republican fraud set out to confuse the American people. It was never real. She walks away with the election. That's the plan. Now, the problem they're having, Alex, internally, the FBI guys have gained forces, and they've got a few surprises for Comey and Hillary. But the best thing I can say to Donald Trump, if he would listen to me, I don't want you to come out on behalf of me or you, Alex, or anybody else and just disavow what Comey's trying to do. But it would be wise for him to say, Donald Trump should say, you know, 
golly, guys, you know, Alex, this is kind of weird here recalling for these after she spent two years sledgehammering computers and washing them with this acid thing. Why now does Hillary want this stuff to come out? Pretending as if she doesn't know what's on these computers. Hillary has known everything that everybody's known since day one. You know that, Alex. I agree, Larry. Let me throw this in then. We need to let uh -huh. people know that we haven't gotten to the big enchilada. I had been told this. Clearly, George Soros and the Ford Foundation have spent a billion bucks stirring up black Americans to riot and burn stuff <coughs> down. The false flag coming up is a contested election. You've got that from my level sources. I've gotten that as well. They've getting the National Guard ready. They're canceling school on November 8th. That was Friday. They are really gearing up for something big. And you talk to as super high level as it gets, and they concurred. So so that everybody knows, Alex, I have told you who I've talked to, and you're, you're perfectly capable of calling him if you'd like, if he'll talk to you. But I don't hide who I've talked to. I just cannot put his name out for obvious judicial Well, reasons. I mean, I've had this but, very person as a very high-level source through a super high-level source as well. So I know it's a very good patriot that's aware of what's happening. I'm, now, I, I've already confirmed your source. The thing that he said to me was he was worried, and he said, Nick... The ground's starting to, to rumble, and it's a rumble that will be heard all the way to the other side of the earth. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, it's triggering. He said, you know, you've been talking, and I didn't believe you in the beginning when you talked about a velvet coup and all that silent coup stuff. He said, Nick, I believe you now. It's here. You see, they tried, Alex, to set it up. They tried to trigger this coup with Black Lives Matter, with riots. They tried to trigger this coup with Islamic blowing stuff up. They kept on and kept on. Stay there. Stay there. We're back in 70 seconds. Second hour, folks. We're going to cover this exclusively. So it's a desperate move. Tommy knows he covered up crime. She's going to be destroyed, discredited, his agency turning against him. The crimes have gone so far. What do they do? They bring up a side issue, a bunch of emails. There's probably some meat and potatoes there. But it becomes a whole distraction from WikiLeaks that already connects the president and Hillary to lying to Congress, the public, you name it. Calling black people dumb. I mean, the stuff this week that's come out is head spinning crazy. I can't believe how bad these folks are. Even if you're bad, why do you write emails like you're a villain? I mean, it's crazy. Larry Nichols is with us in this short segment and one other former Clinton insider. Helped basically run the uh, governor's mansion there in Arkansas till they became so criminal he wouldn't go along with it. So you were talking to this high-level person. They were saying the triggering's here. Black lives didn't matter. Uh, you know uh, that whole thing didn't get the war going. It, you know didn't cause the whole collapse. Didn't cause the civil war. What's coming next? We lose him. All right. Go I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. But okay, it's so okay. Uh, Larry, please continue. Well, the plan is that when they steal this election. Quasi steal it out in the open. They want to make sure, Alex, that all of us know they just out and out stole it. And when they win by stealing it, they expect an uprising from all of us that claim foul. And that's going to be the triggering mechanism to totally shut down our form of government. They're going to claim that it's impossible to lead America in the present condition it's in with the division that's here so therefore they're going to have to enact forceful rules you know the rest alex they're planning now this is not just this ain't coming from me this is coming from people in high positions that are scared they've been looking for the triggering mechanism now it's here but the first thing we have to do is we have to stay focused i'm sorry i can't breathe very well you have to stay focused Watch for WikiLeaks. That's where the real egg is that you want to find. And watch. Do not drop the ball on voter fraud. You can stop voter fraud by exposing it. You can. You can stop voter fraud. There was a lady, Alex, that called me. She and her husband were going to the doctor. The doctor's office was under remodeling, so she went to a strip center where their temporary office was. They went in the wrong office. There were all these desks. You know, a big room full of desks and all these young people. They said, what's going on with anyway? They found out that's the wrong place. They went next door. Her husband went outside, and there were a couple of young men smoking cigarettes that were in that office. He asked them. He said, good Lord, what have they got going on in there? 
the two guys told them we're going through the obituaries and casting votes you know how didn't even, didn't even care that they knew well, that's, that's just like the, that's just like the Project Veritas, where the national director and his adjunct just go, "We're going to yeah. steal everything, and we don't care if the journalists know." That's right. In Pennsylvania, you've already got reports there. In Philadelphia, a precinct that have already had 120 percent, 140 percent of the registered voters in those precincts have already voted absentee. Impossible. Already. So this is what's happening, and folks. I'm, you know, Alex, please tell folks, man, I'm sitting here hard to breathe, can't breathe. I'm not here sensationalizing anything. I'm not, I'm not here to do anything. I'm passing on what I know. That's all I can do. Well, we my friend, I've got, got one more segment it. with you, and I'm going to talk about this when we come back. It's just a 60-second break. I want to recap the martial law scenario, but it's incredible. Your source basically through another one of my high-level sources, said the exact same thing a while back. Then I have these other sources that are saying the same thing that are mid-level. Then I have some other high-level, but not as high-level as yours. And that the thing is, they're getting the military ready, everybody. The good news is, like you said, the FBI is rebelling. The special forces are rebelling. The generals are rebelling. Because what they're being told is so nakedly criminal. And you and so many others, the listeners, have exposed the criminality of the Clinton machine, but even mainstream news, calls him a crime family. Even the Chicago Tribune says she should step down. So she's about to try to execute a coup naked. That's right. Eight days till the election, nine days until we begin to discover what's going to happen. Larry Nichols, who's behind the Clinton Chronicles, I've been interviewing him for over 20 years. He's the guy that said they will not indict her. Comey works for her. You will watch. The whole media said, oh, no, he's great. He will, or he'll call for the indictment. He was right. And I have called all my different high-level sources. I've called seven or eight people. And they didn't, some of them didn't know I'm not a lot on Friday. They just knew the word was Hillary was already going to get indicted over the new stuff that came out on WikiLeaks that proved she lied. So they said, what wiener? And then they basically started saying exactly what Nichols is saying, that that's a diversion from what's already come out. And then Hillary can sit there and grandstand and say, I want that released. I want that released. Because she knows that's not the smoking gun. But, man, when you look at the Wall Street Journal, it's up on InfoWars.com, DrudgeReport.com, you name it. They're talking about 650,000 different emails that are in this data dump. So even if they release that, how do you go through all of that? Meanwhile, Democrats should ask Clinton to step aside. This from the editorial board of the Chicago Tribune. Now, we've already seen all these big papers attack Trump for no reason. But when you start seeing the Chicago Tribune come out against her, Loretta Lynch pleading the fifth to Congress uh, in all these different investigations. That's the Attorney General. Roger Stone's coming up in the next segment. He says the globals are deserting Hillary from his intel. Even in fake polls, where they're sampling 9, 12, 15% more Democrats, Hillary is now 2 to 5 points uh, in these Gallup polls, ABC polls, you name it, behind. But you just heard Larry Nichols, and it's all over mainstream news, ABC, CBS, NBC. To local news is credit, they're actually reporting on it. Dead people voting, illegals voting. Bloomberg came out and said, oh, cities are letting illegals vote. It's a good thing on Friday, but Trump's crazy. Illegals aren't voting. I'm like, what is a story like that? Larry, why would Bloomberg have a story on Friday saying illegals are voting, but Trump's still wrong about it? I mean, and, and you know, it's not a big deal to have illegals vote. They actually said that. Let's let them vote. What, what is that where they admit something but then say we're wrong? It, it's, it's weird psychological warfare. I mean, I know you were a Green Beret and you know, a bunch of secretive operations. That's why you got a sign of the Clintons and their whole CIA operation is fake governors. But what is this next level stuff? You know, Alex, it's all just a part of confusing and trying to get those people that are out there that might be sitting somewhere on the fence that are daily bounced from one side That's to the right. other. That's right. It's nonsense on purpose. That's what all the big right. brains told me. It's, it's not meant to make sense. It's meant no. to go, what the hell? Exactly. It's supposed to make, it's a balking effect. It's just like when the pitcher balks in the game. It, it's, that's what it's for. And Alex, let me say this to everybody that might doubt what you and I are saying. Now, Alex didn't do this. I did. But folks, I named names. You know, I named Comey. I named Lynch. They could sue me criminally for the things I just said about them if I can't prove it in the court of law. So let's get serious about this. You know, Alex, I've told you for 
what we've talked about for almost a year now, when I have said this is the last election we're going to have. I and agree. They've is. never acted so criminal. They've never pulled out stops. They've never geared up for martial law the way they are. No. I mean, you, everyone in this audience and everybody should be able to see everywhere, but they don't. You should see they're, they're going to extremes never before, before even dreamt of. But they're going to them now. And part of it's because of what you just said. And this is war. Hillary doesn't care if it comes out she's a criminal. Nope. She wants nope. to become a dictator in a climate nope. so dangerous, the elite have to make her dictator to keep them in place. And remember, she can do anything she wants. In her mind, her and Bill, she can do anything she wants. Because why? Number one, she knows she'll not be prosecuted by, by Lynch or Comey. She knows she'll not be exposed by the media. She knows that. They know that. They've got free So is there any point, anything. you talk about curveballs that decent people in the government are ready to throw. You said this last week, it's now happening. I mean, how do we fight back against this? Just exactly what I said last week. You go and you protect your vote. When you go into a voting machine, if it's touchscreen, do not leave that voting booth until somebody in that precinct has proved to you that your vote was logged exactly like you cast it. And if they cannot, you demand a paper ballot. You demand a paper ballot. And then all of you veterans groups get together. Go to the inner city precincts of these major cities, certainly the ones in the major states, the states that are the whatever you call them for the electoral stuff. Get to those states. Have people in those precincts. And you'll catch them coming up in vans. You'll catch them going in and out, voting over and over and over. Take a picture of it. Notify, do this very seriously. Don't get in their way. Don't cause a confrontation. But when you get pictures of it, go in and notify the head of the precinct. Tell them that you've seen it. Then you leave there. You call the police immediately, and you have a police report. Then, police report. Then, you go to Alex Jones, to your side, Alex, or anywhere else they can go, and you log it on any of these sites that provide you a place to log where you've witnessed voter fraud. It's going to come down to that. And I know you say, Alex, well, if we do that, that really won't stop. Listen, these people going and casting these votes are committing a crime, and they know it. And if they think if they think they're being watched, Alex, they'll move on. They won't vote. How do I know? Because I did it. I know. I know what they'll do. I know. You can win this thing. Trump is winning. But you cannot let them convince you. You cannot let them get you sidetracked. They're masters at misdirection. Oh, that's, that's why they're saying is. it's intimidation to even do exit polls. It's legal and lawful. They're really scared of what you and Roger Stone have talked about. They are really scared of knowing our numbers are out there because we document enough of it. And we have 100 cases on video. We already have five or six. It'll absolutely discredit them no matter what they do. So the full war is happening now. They are full court press with everything they've got. They are hammering 110%, and Comey, bottom line, uh, is, is hedging his bet in case Trump gets in that at least he reopened an investigation. Hillary greenlighted that because it diverts off of the WikiLeaks and all the rest of the stuff that's happening. They think the FBI is dumb, uh, the people that are good guys in there and good people in there, and so they'll think, oh, we've reopened it, but the good news is from you, they're all seeing right through it. They're seeing through it, and they're growing. I was told they were growing in numbers every day. Comey's not going to have enough people crooked in the FBI by the time this eight days is over to suit up a basketball team. To suit up a basketball team. I'm telling you, it's there. We can do it. You know, Alex, I'm sorry I'm sick, but I'm, I'm doing the best I can. But please, folks have got to help me. They've got to help us. We've got to stop them stealing this election or there will not be another one. That's right. They're totally going for broke. And I would just add here that the mainstream media is the most shameful group in all this, how they have willfully engaged in a criminal, organized racketeering conspiracy against our republic. I'm not a vindictive person, We, but, but here's the thing. We get Trump in, the battle begins. He must immediately, through the Constitution and Bill of Rights, route out these mafias or they're always going to be trying to bring him down. Trump cannot make a deal with them and then have them back off. We have to deal with them and remove them. Now, there's one other thing we got to talk about very fast. But do you agree with me? We oh, do have to remove absolutely. them, don't we? You bet. And he can, and we'll talk about that after we win. But I hear a lot of people talking about the Electoral College. Look, 
Don't worry about that. I know the Electoral College agree, but don't worry about that. Let's get through the general vote. When we get through that and Trump wins, Alex, I promise you, we'll come on this program, if I'm still here, we'll come on this program, and we'll tell people exactly how to stop them stealing the Electoral College. Do not worry about that at this time. Worry about this election. That's what you focus on. And Alex, if people can help, please give them that paper. I need That's right. Let me talk that. about this. Larry is in the hospital. Today I was there, there making hospital calls in the background. And I said, are you in the hospital? He said, yeah, I'm there. He said everything he can to uh, get the word out. We need to keep this guy alive as long as possible. Get the word out. We need to put up uh, his PayPal address on screen. Give that for radio listeners. It's Nichols Live, one word, Nichols Live at AOL.com. Thanks for reminding me because I told you I wanted to plug that for your medical bills and try to help you out, Larry. You're such a jewel. You better hang on about 10 more years here, buddy. Nichols Live at AOL.com or send him a check or whatever to Larry Nichols, 58 Kingsington Drive, Conway, Arkansas, 72034. Larry, we'll talk to you again a lot this week. Get out of the hospital, and we appreciate you. You bet, buddy. Thank you. That guy has been so dead on. He kept saying she will not be indicted. She will not be indicted. And I talked to some of my other sources and learned they're talking to Nichols as well. We'll be back with Roger Stone with Big Breaking News. Stay with us.